An entire 20-foot stretch of the front of this building gave way and fell to the ground around 4 this afternoon. It left lots of debris right at the entrance, narrowly missing the door and windows. Fortunately, the building was closed and no one was near the building when the building collapsed. One Boone man says it's horrible that the city hasn't kept it in good condition. It's kind of wrong that they just kind of leave a historic thing in Boone just out of the way, like shove it under the rug. It kind of hurts. <laughs> I want to get on that. Seeing the Boone History Center in shambles like this really hits home for the residents of Boone. After living here my whole life, it's just weird to see how like transforms from being like new and like you know the place where people go hang out, and now it's just this little rundown building that I don't know which was better taken care of. The executive director of the center said she was worried something like this would happen. Unfortunately, I was not surprised. Uh, we have been in the process of partnering with the USDA and other funders that would help us to address this expense to repair the building. McKay says it's hard to keep a 106 year old building up to date. I'm just grateful that no one was hurt and hopefully we'll be able to restore the building to its original condition as soon as possible. McKay knows the building means a lot to the community and that others will help keep its history alive. The history holds us together. It's something that unites us and people can really rally around uh, not only building preservation, but just the stories, keeping the stories alive.